In this video, I'm going to show you a few CAD modifications to take the scan of an old socket and prep it to be printed on a sport tape 3D printer. First, I'm going to load in the scan. I will start modifying the socket by opening the proximal end using the trim line tool. With the mouse cursor, I make a rough outline of where the trim line should be. Once I have made it all the way around the socket, I can right mouse click to smooth out the waves in the trim line, cleaning it up. Then, using the move trim line function, with the local area dragged, I can push and pull parts of the line where I want them. Now that I have the trim line where I like it, I will use the make vertical function to open the proximal end of the socket. Then I will add a ridge to pronounce the trim line so it is clearly visible when printed. With the proximal end of the socket modified, I just need to prepare the distal end. I will start by using the cutting tool to remove the excess volume in the socket from the externally mounted lock used previously. Next, I will use the fly tool to increase the circumference of the model by 5 ply. This ensures the patient can get into the socket for the initial fitting. Then, I will use the cylindrical adapter tool to help align the socket into its final position. It is important to note that the alignment should be done by moving the socket, never moving the cylindrical adapter. From the anterior view, I can see that the lateral side of the socket slightly overhangs the adapter. And then from the medial view, I can see that the socket is a little too far back and needs shifted forward slightly. I remove the adapter and switch over to the alignment tool, which allows me to shift the entire model in the medial lateral plane to fix the lateral overhang, as well as shift the model in the anterior posterior plane to correct that alignment as well. The alignment looks good, so I reapply the cylindrical adapter. Let me pause for a second to explain why adding the cylindrical adapter is necessary. All prints on the Squirt 3D printer start with a base of a distal cup. The distal cups have circular grooves to connect with the printed socket. So to make sure they connect properly, we can get a circular distal end of the model by adding a cylindrical adapter. Now to finish the modifications, I use the large blend tool to smooth out the connection between the adapter and the socket. This finishes all the modifications we needed, so the socket is now ready to be printed. 